Good morning, gorgeous. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the vlog. This week, I'm back in the shop and we're gonna work on Marco's beautiful Mismo. Let's take this off. So, Marco's, in, he bought this thing with the intent of basically selling it in the future as somebody's dream car. So he did this, uh, you know, little stuff here and there, nothing major to the cosmetics or engine or anything like that. So he installed this sick Boost Logic titanium exhaust. And, it got, uh, and I think he went with the full quad. Quadzilla. Ah. Once you get it up in the air, you guys will just, uh, I'll show you guys underneath, but it's, it's, it's clean. Um, the reason why it's in my shop right now is because he bought like this delete kit by Omnitrix. And apparently, it's pretty finicky, you guys, and it just, yeah, poor guy right now, he can't even enjoy his car, it just, it's in limp mode, and uh, he just can't get it figured out, and he doesn't have the time, so I'm going to help him out, of course. Friends help out friends, so that's what we're going to do today, you guys. For uh, me to enable to work on this vehicle, you guys, I gotta be able to get to this module right there, which is the uh, valve. And to get to that, I gotta remove the under tray, which is really easy, but man, absolutely gorgeous, you guys. Look at this Boost Logic Titanium Quadzilla exhaust. This is what I was talking about. It goes into the four, and yeah, super, super nice, you guys. But enough with that, no more drooling. Let's get to work. Ah. All right guys, so the factory valve is right there and it's conveniently zip tied. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut it off and unplug the, uh, the module and let's bring it out. So initially, whoever installed the uh, exhaust system either didn't do the valve uh, adjustment properly or just something went wrong. Uh, obviously it triggered a uh, check engine coal or check engine light. I'm grab the key here. So the car goes into limp mode now. Um, so what we're gonna do, as per the um, instructions, uh, we have to clear the code first and then go ahead and adjust the valve. All right guys, so I have the module out here and uh, so far I can see the two screws. They're not in the right position uh, according to the uh, instruction manual. So hopefully that's what's causing it to uh, trigger the check engine light. So I'm gonna readjust those and then uh, reinstall it, you guys. All right, so I adjusted the valve based on the uh, factory settings here. And then what I did was I marked it off with a uh, Jiffy marker. So now I'm gonna adjust the screws so that it, the, uh, whatever this is stops according to the instruction manuals. So the uh, valve is adjusted now. Hopefully this is the way it should be. And uh, the check engine light doesn't come back and Marcos can use his car to its full potential. All right, you guys, so I cleared the code, put the valve in, so everything's all good now. So now I'm gonna go for a test drive to see if it goes in, back into limp mode. Uh, hopefully it doesn't, you guys. Mr. Pacheco! 
The car's ready. Ready. Let me uh, let me change the lens and let's go for a ride, okay? Uh, let me change. Let me change my lens. Maybe do it first, no? Oh, well, we go. We're gonna celebrate after your big smile, okay? Awesome. It's, it's warmed up so you should be able to uh, so good ready to go eh? it might not be the uh the tires might not be warm but the engine's warmed up yeah, so you, warm. you can you can hit boost on straight sounds good man just don't uh, don't put it into the corner uh, oh, into the God. tree okay <laughs> <laughs> hopefully no <laughs> all right let's do it let's, uh... you excited oh! <laughs> 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 man, this is scary, man. Whoa. Oh, I can't believe it. This is your first time, oh, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, look at the smile on his face. Oh, yeah. like, this is ridiculous, man. Whoa. I'm sweating and shaking. <laughs> Damn, this system is brutal, man. It pulls. It sound good, eh? Absolutely, it man. Sound this good, is eh? so good, man. Look. <laughs> Damn, man. Wow. It, it's hard, eh, for like stock, stock turbo? Absolutely. Holy it's man. so fast, man. <laughs> Holy moly. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> ready to roll, man. That is that is the way how Godzilla is supposed to feel like. Damn. You know what I mean? I felt Absolutely. so bad that, you know, when you put the exhaust in and you couldn't feel the boost. Man, but now it's, it just, it's perfect. Yeah, it was, oh my it gosh, was, my heart is pumping. Easy fix. Boom, 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 yeah. boom, boom, boom. My gosh, I have no words. I mean, this is insane. I mean, <laughs> it, it pulls and pull you back to the seat as soon as you put the gas. My gosh, it's just so quick. Bam, 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 bam. Such a good feeling, you guys. Absolutely. Oh, oh yeah. A good feeling, eh? I miss this thing so much. <laughs> oh my yeah, gosh. As soon as I pulled that module off, I knew right away. I, lo I looked. It was, it was supposed to be 90 degrees from one uh, one pin to the other. Whoever adjusted it, it was like, it was like 180. 180. It was just, it's, it's flat. So the, the valve went past where it's supposed to be. And that's where, why. That's why it went to limp mode. Because it was actually not closed all the way, it was open. Well, thank you so much for helping yeah. me out, man. Yeah. This is, oh, man. it means a lot. Marcos, I appreciate Marcos. it, right? Anytime. Man, you made me smile like, like a little kid. I'm, I'm like a little kid right now. <laughs> <laughs> this one is just go, go, go. It's hungry. My goodness. Look at that sound. That sounds good, eh? Oh my gosh. Hey, you so good, eh? Oh my gosh. Oh, man, I can't describe these feelings, man. Uh, it's just too much. It's too much fun. Damn! Oh, sounds so good. Yeah, boost logic sounds good, eh? Oh my god. Boost logic sounds good, man. Oh, uh, I wish I, uh, yeah, I wish I don't have the down pipes, the factory down pipes. Otherwise, it would be even louder. No, I think it'd be. But I think it, honestly, it's a, it's a little too loud. Too Marcos, loud. And stinky too yeah. i think right now it's like i think it's the, the perfect, perfect mix it's not too loud it's not too low because yeah, you know sometimes right. when you're actually going out on a dinner date or some cruising with some friends yeah. at least oh. we, you and i can talk right now yeah with my car we have to scream <laughs> where you're on seven other. we're yeah. screaming you know <laughs> and it, it, to the point where it's not it's enjoyable no enjoyable. more it's too loud right yeah yeah but this one is just good <laughs> Oh my goodness. That feeling <laughs> never gets tired. Oh my gosh, never. I can go all day long. All day long. <laughs> oh my oh gosh. Man. Oh man. Oh, I can't wait. Jesus, to man. man. 
I can't imagine why Sophie's face when I look like oh. you took her out, eh? Oh my goodness. She's she never saying, felt oh it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, slow down. <laughs> man, this thing is so fun, man, to drive. Oh. This is the first time basically I'm enjoying my car. So 100%. Smooth, yeah. So smooth. Yeah. Oh yeah. So smooth and so, so quick. Yeah. My gosh. Damn. We hit almost 200 kilometers an hour. <laughs> That's just scary. All right guys, so now that we got Godzilla running the way it should be and performing and hitting boost, we're gonna do a little bit of cosmetic stuff. We're gonna put on the titanium stick. So Marco's got himself one too. So let's do that right now, you guys. So the last time I did it, I installed it on mine, you guys. This had to be a little bit of a modification to it uh, to make it fit in the hole here. But uh, this is a carbon fiber. So we'll see if it's gonna need modification or not. Oh, it fits, it fits. I guess it's bigger. Actually, no. Because no? you see how it... Uh, oh, I see, you have to move it. Like that. With the angle like this, it won't go in. Okay. So we we'll just shave it down. We'll shave it down a little bit. So, yeah, so uh, it doesn't fit you guys, so we're gonna have to shave it down just a tiny little bit. Now we're mashing. Okay. Look at that thing. Yin and yang. It's a beautiful piece. I tell here. you guys, such a little thing makes a huge difference, you guys, on the engine bay. Performance wise? Zero. No, 15 horses. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All the little fanboys are going to be like, you know, dancing on the <laughs> Everything you have made in your car, it match everything perfectly. That looks so good on your engine bay. Man. All right, up next you guys. So, Marcus and I were discussing the emblems on the new, like the T-Spec, the new Nismo uh, 20, 2022, right? Not 21, because- 2022. Yeah, so the emblem's a little different. Come on back here. So this is a, uh, this is the original emblem from the 21s and down. I think this looks, this looks fantastic, you guys. Look at that. Big I think this looks see. so nice, you guys. Here's an eye catcher right away when you, yeah. when we saw it first time. All versus new. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna remove this and put the new, new. one. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, here we are. <laughs> oh, these guys having fun at work and making money on top of it. Marcus, you put your hand right here so your emblem doesn't fall. Perfect. There we go. Just like that, you guys. Just like that. <laughs> All versus new. Yeah, it looks better. This is the actual GTR one, Marcos? Mm hmm. It is, right? Because yeah, I can see the curvature, right? Eh? Mm hmm. Oh. What do you think? It looks smaller, no? 
It is, it is smaller. Is that good? Good, eh? <laughs> looks perfect. And just like that, it's 2022 now. Look at you. Perfect. It's just crazy how it just little stuff, like I said, just everything in the little details. It's so nice, you guys. Everything matters. All right, you guys, thanks for joining us this week. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. We'll see you guys. <laughs> Is it good, Mr. Yeah, Pacheco? It's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. Damn. All right, you guys, we'll see you guys next week. See ya.